Frank Farrar is a leader. All right, swimmers, are you ready? Even though he's not always at the head of the pack. Get set, go! Frank Farrar is a leader, even if he doesn't always win. Frank Farrar is a leader, even when he follows the path, slow and steady. My problem is, I'd like a 48-hour day instead of 24. I get tired. I have to go to bed. Time notwithstanding, the ability to bend it is about the only thing Frank Farrar can't do. In the twilight of his life, he's been able to fulfill goals that most won't accomplish at half his age. Good job, Frank. He's completed more than 360 triathlons, including 28 Ironmans, one of the most grueling races in the world. A 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and a full marathon run of 26.2 miles. Back to back to back. I'm not much of an athlete, but, but what it's done for me is uh, better than being a trillionaire. Money pales in comparison to the wealth of Frank's life experience. Growing up in Britain, South Dakota, he played a variety of different sports through his adolescence. Okay. Until a devastating knee injury during a football game provided his first test of grit and character. When I was a junior in high school. I got hit and my leg went like that and they didn't have knee replacements in 1946. And we, we think we're going to have to take your leg off and give you a stump or we'll experiment with you and put a plastic cartilage on the left side of your knee and we'll nail it in there. I said, well, I'll take the nails. If it wasn't already clear, it was hammered home to Frank in the immediate aftermath. The knee injury would change his life. He flunked his physical out of high school to West Point. Running was about the only physical activity he could do without pain. It helped him eventually join the Army a few years later and serve in the Korean War, before he decided to run in a brand new way for Attorney General of South Dakota where he served from 1963 to 1969. When I was uh, Attorney General back in the 60s, I wrote an article about uh, how important uh, exercise is uh, and what it will do for you. I said it will, will make you a, a better person and you'll live longer. And everybody laughed, well, how do you know that? Well, I know it because I do it. As a pioneer on the value of exercise, Frank's path could go in any direction. There, good job, sir, good job. Almost there. And he chose the race for South Dakota's highest office. If you want to serve the public, the governor's got more power than the attorney general, but it's more of a difficult job because it's hard to satisfy everybody. It was a lesson Frank experienced in short order. After just one two-year term, he was defeated in the 1970 election. His political race was cut short, but undeterred, Frank forged a new path and ran straight ahead. I just loved to serve my state, and I had to make a decision whether I would continue in government and decide to go into business. Since the 1970s, Frank's business ventures have provided stability across the state, most notably in banking. But what he couldn't bank on was the diagnosis he received during a physical in 1992. And they said, you have a lymphoma and that you got too much to live. And I said, what are you going to do? Give you a chemo? Uh, and uh, we'll try to kill it, but we don't think we can. Staring down a death sentence at just 63 years old, Frank decided to do what he had always done, run. In the midst of chemotherapy, 
He competed in one of his first triathlons. In six months, I was in remission. I had been in remission since, and I attributed to the triathlon. So that's why I stepped up to the Ironman. I said, if that helps me, I better start training. So that's how, why I did it. Figuratively, Frank ran away from cancer and literally kept running and training <laughs> like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, I worked out in the morning and at night after work. You know, I'd, I'd bike in the morning and run it at night, swim when that's possible. It's been 25 years since Frank's initial diagnosis, and by his own account, he's as healthy as he's ever been. A vegetarian diet and exercise have invigorated him to continue competing in triathlons and pursuing other interests. He knows he's not the fastest, and he knows his time left is shorter than his time lived. But he also knows what works, and that being a leader is more about the process than the result. Yeah, I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing until I can. <laughs> Uh, I do everything. I, I still fly and uh, uh, I'm in business. I'm not going to quit my businesses. I'm not going to retire. I'm going to do what I do every day. And joined by David Brown now. And Frank is old school, to Very say the least. School. And he is old by most people's measures. He's 88 years old. But this lifestyle, he thinks this is just going to keep him going and going, right? Yeah, he doesn't train for triathlons the way he used to, but he follows a very strict vegetarian diet, and he seriously believes he can live to be 115 years old, and based on what he's done after the age of 63 till now, I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. David Brown. Thanks for watching the 50th episode of Midco Sports Magazine. You can find this one and all the others on YouTube. This has been Midco Sports Magazine. Presented by Shields and Sanford Orthopedics and Sports Medicine.